guys, Alex Underwood here, and welcome back to my channel, my aliens. Today, I have my lovely father, Chris Underwood, here as my model for this Cat in the Hat inspired makeup. I did this all for a advertisement for the Wagon Wheel Theater. Go ahead and check them out if you're ever in Northern Indiana. Go ahead and watch one of their shows because they're absolutely phenomenal. But go ahead and stay tuned if you want to figure out how I did this crazy look. So to start out, I am going to be building on top of this mannequin head I already have because the model I am putting the actual mask on has bigger features than the head itself. So I'm just building that up with some clay. It doesn't have to be exact to their face or anything. You just want to make sure there's room for their features inside of the mask. And I'm just using some clay I got from a craft store. It doesn't have to be anything in particular. Here I'm just taking some craft wire and I'm just cutting it and folding it into triangles and this is what I'm going to use for the ears later. I just wanted to do this before I got my fingers all sticky with the latex. Next I'm making some latex paste. I'm just mixing together latex and flour and it creates sort of a paste-like substance and I'm just using this for the base of the nose since I'm building it up so high I wanted to have a sturdy base before I add cotton on top of it and I just mix that together and then start forming the nose using my fingers a good way to keep the latex from sticking to your fingers is to just cover your finger in latex and that will help the latex on the actual face itself smooth out a little bit easier Next I'm getting on to the like puffy part of the cat's mouth. I don't know, I was going for like a more cartoony type 
cat so i wanted these to be very prominent so i just smacked some cotton balls on there and smothered them in latex and then formed them until they were about the same size and shape or until at least i liked how they looked and of course i had reference pictures And I repeat that on both sides and basically this entire time I'm just building up cotton and latex and shaping it with my fingers until I get the face how I want it in the shape that I imagined or at least until it looks like a cat
Next I start sculpting the eyes and I wanted these to be pretty prominent so I made sure in, to go in with a brush and make sure there was a crisp line there. I did go in and add a little bit more latex in there later for sort of an eyelid type thing. I don't, I don't really know what, what it would be called. It's kind of like the, the water line of the cat is what I'm trying to say. And just going back and forth kind of all over the place on the entire mask until everything looks as symmetrical as I could get or as, as I thought needed to be because, you know, not every cat's symmetrical, so it doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical. But Next, I'm going to start working on the mouthpiece. In the end, I did end up cutting these and making these two separate pieces, but for now, it's okay if they overlap. I started building up the lip, and then from then on, worked down the chin, of course, covering over the clay that I put down on the chin so it would cover the model's face.
Next, I am starting to work on the headpiece, and I decided to lay this out on the table before I put it on the head, just so I could see how many strips I would need without it sticking to the head itself, because the head was sticky and covered in latex, and that's not what I wanted. So I laid it down in sort of a triangular shape, and then I put it, them on the head one at a time, making sure they were all completely covered in latex before going on to the next one, so it was seamless. Then I started working on the ears, a lot of this got cut out, I'm very sorry, my ankle was bad and I was just out of frame and it stopped recording, so I did the best to show on camera how I did this, I kind of just wrapped the wire in cotton, covered it in late, like a ton of latex, like so much latex so it would stay, and then I just cotton and latex the crap out of it until they stuck to the rest of the latex on the head, and that's basically all you can do is just glue it up with the latex until it's Had. The only paint that's really important is the nose and around the eyes and that was about it because those are the only parts that really show through the fur. I went ahead and cut the pieces in the shapes that I wanted them off camera just so I didn't waste a ton of time filming. So you're going to see me putting the fur all over the face making sure I cover as much surface area as possible so none of that latex shows through except for the nose and around the eyes. last couple steps are basically just going around cutting off any excess fur combing it with a comb hairspraying the hair making sure the fur lays how you want it to be uh, just doing some finishing touches making sure everything is stuck to it uh, I spent quite a while on that just doing the finishing touches because I wanted it to be perfect but you'll know as soon as it's done Before I painted the mask, I did remove the mask from the model head that we were working on. To do that, you basically just cover the back, the latex in powder and pull it off and keep covering it in powder and pulling it off. The more powder you use, the better because it's going to help the latex from sticking to itself. Very careful, very slow with this, making sure you don't rip the mask at all.
applying the prosthetic, you're going to want to glue down your model's eyebrows using Elmer's glue and a translucent powder. This is going to help it from getting any latex or any glues into their eyebrows and ripping their hair out. And if they have a beard or if they have a lot of hair along the sides of their face, then you're going to want to do that with that as well or at least cover it in a Vaseline so it doesn't get all in their hair and ruin it and hurt to take out. And then I'm just going to go in with a black face paint from the Mayron face paint set and I'm just going to paint that all over the areas of his face that are going to show through. I made sure to overdo it quite a bit just in case anything showed through, of course getting the ears, the neck, the eyes, and the mouth. When it comes to adhesing the prosthetic, I decided to go with some latex. I dabbed latex all over my model's face and then all over the inside of the mask and then I held them together until they were adhered, making sure that there was no way that thing was going to fall off for the filming we were doing later that day. And I repeated the same step with the bottom half of the mask. my video guys i hope you enjoyed this crazy look i did and if you want to see more stuff like this let me know because i had so much fun making this video i really love doing crazy stuff like this and you know it was wonderful having my dad here with me if you guys want to hang out with me when i'm not on youtube you can follow me on snapchat at alex underscore underwood and on twitter and instagram at alex with two x's 2017 don't forget that second x or you won't be able to find me if you don't and you guys can also find me on my website which will always be linked down below and don't forget to check out the wagon wheel theater i will also link that down below for some Seussical tickets. When is that, Dad? May 30th. May 30th is when Seussical is, and I cannot wait to see you guys on the next one. Bye, my aliens. <laughs> <laughs>